Hey, what's up guys? Your average wargamer is back with another video of World of Warships. And today I'm going to be featuring a tier 10 freemium steel carrier, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, American carrier that is, I would say, the most uh, fearsome carrier in World of Warship. Like, honestly, it is definitely not only Battleship's nightmare, but in this video, I'm gonna be able to show you that if you really try to go for destroyers, and you are expert FDR player, well, Destroyer is definitely going to have so much problems that he eventually will basically mess his life in every possible way you can expect. So, I will clearly able to show you that FDR can be really lethal against Destroyers, basically, even if they have good uh, defenses, because unlike Midway, FDR has almost, almost double the HP pool of planes. And coming with the bombs, as you can able to see, one of the things that I also felt in Midway, that the bombs RNG, uh, not only the Midway, but FDR also suffers. But again, that 20, like 25 seconds of delay, after that delay, you can just keep going for DD again and again, unlike Midway, which you, you know, only can able to drop two times. In FDR, it basically now get double. Like you can drop a DD that has above average AA like this Z-22, but I would say average in this case, you can drop him probably more than two times. And in this case, you can see what happened to that poor Z-52, taking a massive 5,200 damage. And not only that, I also did some spotting damage and basically he lose almost 7 8000 HP which is pretty much of a bad start for a destroyer and that's why he forced to smoke up at A. Again, it is something that makes FDR ridiculously powerful. The tanky planes, not only with HE dive bombers that works as carpet bombers for some reason for American carrier but also the torpedo bombers are really really strong and if you able to know how to drop these battleships that are pushing right now and at A, you will see what's going to happen. Obviously, there is a Z-52 still in smoke and having its AA turned on, which is a bit of an annoying thing. But what he will do, he will do something which is pretty much going to be unexpected. He's actually going for a submarine in the A cap. And that is absolutely a worst thing to do when you are playing a destroyer, even if you have hydro. Because that's a death sentence. Literally, FDR spotting you and that submarine, well, he maybe survived, maybe not survived, but that's basically a dead enemy destroyer. No matter what he do, he's definitely going to have a hard time surviving because he just comes out of the smoke. And this is what uh, typically, you know, I've seen destroyers doing this against a submarine, which they should never ever do. Regardless, there is a enemy Bismarck that I know started to focus because I'm sure that this Z-52 is going to be dying regardless of even if I spot or not. Okay, so Balau killed the submarine of ours, but Z-52 will eventually die and I'm dropping this poor Bismarck with a ridiculous turning that FDR gets with his uh, gimmicky planes. <laughs> and in this case, look at that, all eight torpedo hits and he lost almost one third of his HP. Now imagine if you are playing Bismarck a tier 8 battleship, well, he should never push into the cap. That's a really terrible idea in the first place in a carrier game and a submarine as well. But he's still going to lose his ship super hard. Like, it's going to be ridiculously hard that he can do anything right now. Like, he just got double permanent fire. He doesn't even have fire prevention. So you can basically imagine that uh, whatever you do, you should never push at least in first five minutes of the game, no matter what, as a battleship player. But he did that and he is going to get paid for that by losing his full ship. And look at that. All five torpedoes and he is dead. Again, destroyers, if the RNG is in your favor, well, destroyer is going to die. I can tell you that. I mean, Midway is definitely a lot more consistent, but FDR with its spotting, like literally can make uh, a destroyer life almost hell. And I'm not joking when I'm saying this. And in this case, uh, I will get spotted by the Shimakaze at B cap. Uh, I was going for the Yamato there because Yamato is completely isolated. And when he is the most easiest target for FDR. But then I thought, okay, if this Shimakaze go for the San Vincent and Mecklenburg, that might not be a good thing. So, as a carrier player, 
you definitely should spot destroy and in this case i am doing that so the shimakaze well he's gonna turn to dodge the bombs but well i dropped this shima in such a way that well if the rng favors you look at that 9299 so he basically lost almost two third of his hp completely get devastated by these bombs and now he smoked up which is absolutely a terrible idea to, because i mean he should have smoked up in the first place remember if you see a good fdr player good fdr player you can basically check that in basically matchmaking monitor i would absolutely recommend you to smoke up at least in a shimakaze before he even able to drop because if you don't well this is what's going to be your fate as well and i'm not joking similarly this marso well he has defensive a is actually having a lot better a than shimakaze but again no matter what if you're able to drop a bit like rng did favor me and i basically chunk him for 2000 hp at least that's what typically rockets do so i did with the bombs so now basically his defensive a is running but that does really not matter because fdr will just kick his butt like literally as you can able to see that marceau even he has having some defensive a he's using it for his advantage fdr planes really does not matter you're not taking flags fdr planes basically are extremely tanky against continuous air damage i mean literally heavy cruiser levels of hp on these you know these bombs and torps again same thing happened against marcel all three destroyers shimakaze z52 and marcel all of them were the victims of fdr so if people think that you cannot have much chance against destroyers well i completely disagree with that you do have a chance but again sometimes rng can mess you up but most of the time a good expert fdr player will super hard counter that poor destroyer especially if he's in a bad bad position and again that yamato that i was trying to go for i did on him like 19000 damage and double fires so that's the usual same old track kill all three destroyers and then basically game the game is basically over I mean we have three destroyers they don't have three destroyers the match is already decided right now like the, even if they try anything they just can't this poor ohio and yamato well they are now running away for their lives but again we're talking about fdr here where are they gonna go and this is like a bit of a absurd design concept of fdr in general like a battleship that is uh, kind of trying against all odds i mean there are surface ships out there and he's gonna take damage from them and then suddenly uh fdr with its basically heavy cruisers levels of hp in torpedoes and bombs coming to drop him and he can drop a ohio several strikes and then he can drop him again and the alpha damage of torpedoes and bombs is so high imagine what would be the mindset of that poor battleship guy like what he would be thinking at that time that where i'm gonna be going now like what i'm gonna be doing again is this situation like he has really really no chance and this is what i'm talking about fdr gives no chance to battleships i mean i just chunk him for like one fifth of his hp because of those torpedo hits and i will come up again and then he will eventually going to die because well he has no chance really and ohio obviously is a very very strong battleship without a doubt but uh, is it really going to be strong against fdr you know and there is Yodo and Yamato as well. So keep that in mind. It's it's not like a single Ohio that is using its AA against FDR planes. It's Yamato and Yodo as well. Well, but it it really does not matter. And that's why I I mean that's why I'd say it's one of the most most powerful ships in the game right now. I would say even better than Malta. And that is my opinion. It's completely relates to me. I believe that because I do well more in FDR than Malta but L like but but Malta is a different sort of beast it has a lot much more versatility and utility than FDR but obviously it does not have this tankiness and firepower that FDR has against at least battleships and heavy cruisers against destroyers i would definitely going to say that Malta is a lot better because of its consistency with rockets which is definitely a lot better than these bombs but again a good expert FDR player 
really does not care if you try to turn, turn not, like, it really does not matter. At the end, he will do massive, massive damage. Just I did in this game. So that's uh, how it is. So, I mean, if you look at the bombs, they do, like, almost 11k alpha damage, which is crazy. A single bomb. And then you have 8 bombs. And the penetration is basically 63 millimeter, which basically means you can penetrate any battleship in the game. Well, there is only one exception here. Only one exception. Guess what? It's only Rugriaro di Loria, which has this uh, advantage of uh, a stern area to be 120 millimeter armor. So if you, if you don't know that, look at the Rugriaro di Loria. This is a steel battleship. Uh, look at the armor scheme of his. And I mean, I'm not showing him right here right now, but you can just go and check what I'm talking about. Rugriaro di Loria is immune to these bombs or basically any bombs or even maybe even Thunder and, and uh, Conqueror HE shells. Uh, and it can basically able to basically shatter those uh, HE bombs for sure. Like that how much tankiness uh, those uh, Rugriaro di Loria armor has. But again, I'm just saying this thing because that's what I want to say. But other than that, there is no battleship that can tank these bombs. No way anyone can do that. And in this case, you can able to see that poor Duncan is going to eat you Yank Top, so he has no chance to dodge. Because the reaction time would be super, super low. And now the game is basically over. There is a, a Malta that is basically in a kiting position, which is actually the right thing to do. But uh, I will feature the Malta video shortly, uh, in maybe a couple of uh, more videos later. There's going to be a couple of more videos with Kaga, and there is going to be another carrier that I'm going to feature. But then I will explain a lot about Malta since a lot of people decided that they want a Malta video. Which I would love to feature that. But uh, that's for the next videos. So here there is a test ship, Auckland. And there's one advantage that FDR also has when it's using torpedo bombers. Well, if someone is in smoke, FDR has 8 torpedo bombs. Okay? Like 8 torpedoes. There's a good fair of chance that when a cruiser or destroyer is hitting in smoke and the planes are not spotted well you can basically kind of try to basically look at the position where he might be right now and i basically predicted that against this auckland which is a test ship by the way it's a common commonwealth cruiser that is coming in the game uh, <laughs> and as you can able to see like i said four torpedo hits so he basically lost almost 12 13 hp again it's uh, it's all about just predicting uh, with these torpedo bombers well, and in the smoke you can manage to do massive, massive damage. So th this is uh, what I want to say. Like if you if you know what to, what you're doing in FTR, this is what's gonna happen. And uh, now the game is basically over, and Malta is also going to dive, I think, from the torpedo of uh, Yu Yang. So that is what it is. Like I love FDR because of that. It's simply the beast that no one can challenge. It's it's the most powerful ship in the game, in my opinion. Again, your opinion differs. My opinion remains the same. FDR is the king for me. I will play this ship regardless. So, victory, credits, decent credit earner, because it's a premium. That's a benefit when you play a premium steel ship carrier. I mean, that's how it is. Uh, put the blue booster for free XP. 31 top hits, 23 bomb hits, five fires, three kills, not that high damaging game since I also focus on destroyers. If I would have focused on battleship, that would be easily 200k damage. Team score wise, well, focusing destroyers does help with the base XP though. And I am on the top. And obviously, there is also a decent multiplayer. I think that's why he's on top. So, I mean, definitely, these two carriers are really, really strong. But I give FDR just a bit more edge compared to Malta. Again, completely my opinion so your opinion differs so thank you guys for watching and i will catch you into the next one peace out